Dr. Jaffe, what approach would you recommend to elevated cholesterol and a high omega-3-6 ratio with regards to perk priority supplements? Well, first of all, while people do pay a lot of attention to, say, cholesterol, triglycerides, and various fat fractions or lipid fractions, as someone who did primary research at the National Institutes of Health in the 70s and has continued to be involved with the issue, I can tell you that we're measuring the wrong things, and the right things to measure are oxidized or damaged cholesterol, oxidized or damaged LDL, not antibodies to oxidized LDL, but actual measure oxidized LDL, oxidized cholesterol. If you keep those to undetectable because you have enough antioxidants like ascorbate based on the C cleanse, then whatever your blood fats are, you're able to have a healthy cardiovascular system. And this may be a surprise to many colleagues who were taught that the level of cholesterol is predictive of uh, heart problems. So let's look at the evidence. Let's say you take 200 as your dividing line for cholesterol. You'd like it to be less than 200. Half of the heart attacks occur in people with cholesterols over 200. Half the heart attacks occur in people with cholesterol below 200. There's nothing really special about 200. And in fact, Cholesterol is the source of all your hormones. Cholesterol is actually the building block for every membrane in your body. You actually need cholesterol. And very often when the blood fats go up, it's because the people need to repair more and not inhibit their blood fats. So we had this outmoded idea that the diet predicted heart disease, the amount of fat you ate predicted heart disease. That was called the diet heart hypothesis. That was disproved decades ago, and we now know that if you have enough of the essential to induce repair, so your immune defense and repair system is in repair mode, and you have neurohormonal balance because of dietary and activity and attitudinal or mental mind, body, spiritual choices, now your risk is undetectable. I mean like undetectable. So we were fixated on the wrong thing, like what is the cholesterol level? Now we know what's important is the ability to repair. And so we do four self-assessments, eight predictive biomarkers, including the LRA test. We follow a plan for six months and we come back and assess the progress, the repair. And then if we need fine tuning, we address that in a second six-month cycle. 